By nature, hedge fund managers tend to be secretive. Therefore, transparency remains a big issue when considering investing in hedge funds. The managers tend to be secret in their ways and the use of their strategies, and may even keep the funds under a lockup period, whereby investors can only take out their funds during specific intervals that are set by the manager. This overall issue was heightened by the infamous Ponzi scheme run by Bernie Madoff. Madoff took the money from investors and portrayed false returns to get away with it. This multi-billion dollar scam affected many, many investors and charities, and Madoff was later sentenced to 150 years in prison for various charges. These events suggest that this level of secrecy might be wrong, and pressure from institutional investors has compelled some of the hedge fund managers to present their financial report on a regular basis. Hedge fund managers often use leverage to boost their returns and to make the fund more attractive. While leverage has of course got its benefits, it also has its downsides as it increases the volatility of the fund, thereby making it much more vulnerable to downside risks. This is illustrated in the case of Long-Term Capital Management (LTCM). LTCM was formed in 1994 and was highly publicised around the world due to the reputation of the founder and the board members, John Merriweather, the former vice chairman of bond trading at Salomon Brothers, and Myron Scholes and Robert Merton, who both won a Nobel Prize for their work on the valuation of derivatives, including their famous Black Scholes options pricing model. LTCM generated an average annual return of 30% after fees up until 1997. Due to their reputation and popularity, LTCM was able to obtain extremely high leverage from large banks and was in a position to enter large swaps contracts. But soon, disaster struck. After the Russian crisis, LTCM was hit by a loss of more than $4 billion. Its loan to value had reached 250 to 1 at its peak leverage, and ultimately the US Federal Reserve had to come in and bail out LTCM, as this kind of event could have resulted in a complete financial meltdown. However, the blame for this does not solely fall with LTCM, it's also the fault of the banks that provided such ridiculous levels of leverage, without fully assessing the risk in LTCM strategy.
so in this example, they're charging investors a 2% management fee. Just for the record, 2% is very high. So this hedge fund's getting away with charging 2%. 1% is the industry standard. And they're charging a 20% performance fee. So they're making 20 million in management fees and 20% on the performance, 200. So they're making 40. And then 50% of that performance is reinvested by the managers. So at the beginning of next year, the $1 billion fund, fund becomes $1.16 billion. 40 million has left the fund. 20 million in management fees and 20 million in performance fees. Now let's think about that management and performance structure. First of all, let's deal with the management company. The management company is onshore and invoices the fund offshore for the management fee annually. Why? Huh? Who spoke? <laughs> Tax? Yeah, we can come to that in a second. That's one reason. But what's that 20 million used for? Yeah, the 20 million is used for all the infrastructure of the fund to run that fund, including basic salaries of everybody in the office. I'm glad you brought up tax because we'll move on to the performance fee now. Where's the performance fee invoiced? Offshore. Because the fund sits typically in an offshore tax haven. No one likes paying the tax, least of all the investors. So they invest in the offshore entity and the traders charge the performance on the offshore entity. Then they don't need to bring it onshore. They can reinvest it and keep profits offshore. So what does all this mean for you guys? The professional traders at investment banks and hedge funds, now we understand what they typically do. Well, everybody here, pretty much 90% of you at the beginning of the presentation, put your hand up and said you're going to apply to an investment bank for an internship or a graduate position at some point in the next year. Well, first of all, you clearly don't understand what you're dealing with. Because if you did, you wouldn't. And if you've got a degree and you spent £50,000 on it, you need to know what you're dealing with. So let's summarise it first. Hedge fund managers use their own money to trade. They reinvest and they're invested in their own fund. They also accept outside investors' money and they charge to do that. Traders at investment banks don't. They trade public shareholders' money. And they spend 80 to 90% of their day managing a commission revenue business and trading out of positions that they don't want to have. It's a totally different function. The commission business at investment banks, unfortunately, has been in structural decline for over a decade. It started in 2002. So you either need to become the best programmer in the world if you're going to be successful in trading or you go where the opportunities are. And the opportunity now is not to go to the investment bank and make money over one day because volatility is really high. Those guys stick things in machines. The opportunity as a human is to add value by learning how to manage portfolios and trade portfolios 
over one to three month time horizons, longer time horizons, because the machines can't do that. Humans can do it. So that's where you add value as a human. It also gives you another strong message. All the good guys are leaving or have already left. And now they're trading either at a hedge fund structure with their own money or they're trading in other structures with their own money. They're sending you a very strong message. You need to trade with your own money. If you want to be a professional trader, that's what you have to do now. You can't go to an investment bank and trade with publicly available shareholder money or public shareholder money and get away with making tens of millions of dollars. It's not available anymore. It doesn't exist. 